uh, in the evening we I ate um, s uh, spaghetti. Holy shit! I, I drop all the name on on English. Spaghetti, spaghetti, meat sauce. <laughs> what? Pasta, the pasta and the the sauce. You know, you know the pasta oh sauce. God, <laughs> bolognese. Yeah, yeah, pasta bolognese. Hello everyone and welcome to this armored mino and random stuff stream summary. So Henrik was showing us the new minotaurs and also some other stuff. So we will first look into what Henrik uh, said to us and uh, then I will go through the random questions and answers list. Okay, so let's start with what Henrik has eaten. Uh, what did you eat for lunch? Today I ate... I ate... What the hell? How do I pronounce this in English? Rain? <laughs> do we have any... Swedish people to translate deer, some type of deer meat. Yeah, some some type of deer meat with an amazing sauce and um, potatoes and champions. Deer scavs greater. <laughs> I don't know the exact translation for that dish, but a uh, quite quite unique dish, right? My uh, my girl did something out of the ordinary, and it was super delicious. So that was for actually for lunch, and oh my for God, not a one. Um, not a one. after that uh, in the evening we I ate um, s uh, spaghetti. Holy shit! I, I drop all the name on on English spaghetti shot for sales. Spaghetti spaghetti meat sauce. <laughs> pasta the pasta and. Uh, the sauce, you know, you know the pasta oh sauce. God, <laughs> bolognese. Yeah, yeah, pasta bolognese. Exactly, exactly. So was a was a really nice. I have some important updates today in today's stream uh, that I think will please most of you guys. Most frequent issues for um, that affects most players. We've been collecting those and gone through them. We are done already done very good improvement or progression over those oh issues. We have several areas in the world where pets etc struggle, get stuck, oh go under God, terrain etc. Uh, we identified most of those areas and we have ma done um, a change on the um, how the terrain works when it comes to pets and animals following uh, and that should um, hopefully be, be greatly improved in this upcoming patch. We also added oh additional God, tools for one. GMs so they can uh, effectively help in various situations as well, including handling pets. Got feedback on some of the uh, decoration tables etc in houses and keeps that have been disappearing. Uh, so we've gone through that, we found a main cause oh of this God, and I'm have a fix one. for that as well. And uh, we are going through the logs for um, the chests that were not supposed to be included in the houses that make some items go invisible. We have fixed that oh one as God, well, so one. we can take care and of that. One. And also that you can obtain those invincible, invisible items. So those should be sorted in the upcoming patch. And our upcoming patch is scheduled for early next week. And we also done major updates on the server side. Uh, as we know, we've been uh, struggling hard oh with the capacity God, on main mainlands. Uh, so we um, uh, we are gonna deploy the new update on the server, and we will also remove two alternate mainlands along with this update. So uh, players will be a little bit more concentrated back again on on those that we keep. We'll do a, a big improvement so we have that threshold for larger group that can also um, clash pretty much without halting the server bottleneck in, in the way that it's been doing uh, as of late. We're adding um, a red priest uh, close outside of every keep location. So every keep location in, in Maryland have tactical um, positions. That means Anyone can use these priests, obviously, and obviously also the, the keep owners nearby. A new system for the dreadful um, slide bug, which have killed many, many 
horses. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about here, but you know, those dreadful slopes and you're sliding and then bam, you break the legs, <laughs> the dice. So I have a new system in place for that as well to pretty much um, secure horse mechanics when running around in the world. Let's do it. Alright, what do you think about these guys? Boom. Give me, give me your opinion. I hope you like it, because I think it's really cool. And, and plans are that, as you, as you know, some of the pets you can put gear on, right? So we're looking to, along with the um, step where you, um, like I mentioned before, there's a very important balance factor when it comes to domination and um, beast mastery, where you have to rely on very specific components to control some of the more powerful pets. So it comes with like a, a pro and con, obviously, the, the pro is it's a very powerful pet, but the, this, the balance factor comes with how you are bound to it, that puts you in a, you know, sometimes in, in a risk, and how you control it. And some of them are, it, uh, there, there's a possibility to put gear on some of these pets as well. So we're looking to possibly allow the... Minotaur Dominator to actually put gear on, on their young ones eventually. Uh, but like I said, it comes with a very important balance factor uh, because, you know, our Minotaur is quite powerful and uh, we have very specific um, balance factors for that power. So let's go through the random list. Easy anti-cheat works and they don't reveal how they detect people of course. Some creatures won't attack back and stuff but this will be fixed very soon and uh, people that exploit will get banned. People spamming the help chat and also the voice over IP and Starboard will act accordingly and will mute that people that completely from, from the chats or even ban them. And they are fixing this with the instances that you don't hear other people from other instances. Clade respec will come very soon and it will cost gold or XP. The roadmap will come soon. More armor pieces will come over time. A lot of speed hackers got banned. Everything like age, size, weight can be changed in-game with in-game mechanics. For example, a good cook knows the recipe to grow or shrink permanently. The game will be on Epic Game Store soon. More wildlife will come over time. Necromancy will be able to run and cast at the same time. Bio orders will come soon. Unreal Engine 5 upgrade will come because it improves a lot the performance. Or at least it should and it should also improve the graphics and a lot more stuff with the shadows. Streamers and content creators will not get paid and they don't plan to pay anyone for that. <laughs> not even the guy that is making the stream summaries. This maniac sacrifices his, his weekends for the fucking stream for the uh, extremely nice stream summaries. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I love the game so I do it anyway. Territory control is on the roadmap and it's a lot of work because so many building features, mechanics and so on needs to be programmed. Transfer houses and quality of life stuff for houses will come soon. Chests will be guild rank tied. NPC banks placed by territory control will work as regular normal NPC banks like in every other city. Furnace is a little bit loud that, that will be maybe tweaked later. Pet griefing will give negative standings. Subscription is currently not charged until they fix the major problems. The invisible weapon bug if someone knows how to rep reproduce that police right to Star Wars that can save them a lot of time because they don't have the time to simply 24-7 try out how, how, to, how to get an invisible weapon. A lawless area will come at some point, for example the northern area. Deleting gear in battle will be looked later. Blocking with a bow will come in the future but with, with huge durability loss while doing so. Hopefully many people will change their steam reviews and judge the game by its content and gameplay and mechanics and not just by the server queue. Free to play haven will come later in the future at some point. When Dragons will come at some point. The full weather system and synchronized weather system will come with the Unreal Engine 5 upgrade. The Rizza known clade gift has currently no benefit, no mechanic, but uh, later when the continent Hero Valta comes with the home of the Rizzas, it will have a huge impact. Tindrum will get the port and the magic tower again when the ship system comes. Some mechanics are still hidden, for example, hitting, hitting other parts of animals that give you a huge bonus. Many stuff is still not discovered. More underwater content will come over time and terraforming is a big no, but also also a little bit maybe at some restricted areas and stuff, but it's generally a no. These stream summaries are a lot of work, so thanks to all the supporters. Carmel, Professor of Islamic Gaming, Wallberg, Gero, The Spicy Tournament, Tipney, Donsky, Ronus, Paternax, Vinia, you and all the others of course. So never forget to make spaghetti meat sauce hard, uh, party hard and see you all next time. Goodbye!